glad you could join me. I've got something interesting to show you today. Stick around. Hmm, now what do you suppose our project might be today? You see that thing? That's a flagpole holder right here. And the reason why I'm showing you this is I've got to change that out. I'm going to put I'm going to put a new flag holder up. A little bit different. It's not going to fit in the exact same screws. Plus I don't want it up this high. Because the owner is having a hard time with the flag. This one here, you've got to reach way up high here to put it in. Well, she's not that tall. And I'm going to put it in, oh, I don't know, probably about in here somewhere. Okay? And this is a new flag and a new flag uh, pole. And this flag pole is unlike most any flag pole you've ever seen, probably. And I'll show you that after I get this installed. You're going to like this. Especially for windy days, no more curling up flag, flags on flag poles. You know what I mean? I just hate that when that happens. And in order to put that up, we've got to put the new flag pole holder up because this one's just a hair too small. Okay? So that's what our project is today, is to take that one out, relocate it, and install the new one. You might think, what's so hard about that? You know? Well, let me tell you what's so hard about that. It's on the flag pole holder. It came with this little plastic bag, with these little screws, and little plastic anchors. Well, we can't use those on this stucco. We got to do it a different way. And when you get little screws on a stucco, don't use those first, you know. Let me tell you one reason why. Now, in some cases, you can install little plastic anchors in and usually with the new flag, I'll get these out. You see, you're going to have a little plastic anchor like this here. And then you're going to have a little screw that goes into the plastic anchor. Well, that would be all fine and dandy if this was stucco that went all the way through. But nowadays, they don't install stucco like they used to. They've got behind here is a foam board. And then they put a thin layer of stucco over that, and then they put the texture layer over. So, like, if, if I wanted to, I could bust a hole or indent this and crack it by hitting it really super hard or kicking it with my foot or something like that. Because it's not very thick, okay? They've designed that so that it's easier and cheaper to install stucco and not as many coats and all that kind of stuff so this stucco is not very thick and so what happens with that is if you drill a hole through there and you put this little plastic anchor in there half of this plastic anchor if not more is going right into the styrofoam backing board and it's not going to make your bracket very supportive and it could just rip out of there okay so I'm I don't use these on the new style stucco. New style stucco, what am I talking about? It's probably 15, 15 year old stucco or so. You know, the older houses, you could drill a hole in there with the masonry bit and then put the plastic anchors and all that. But here, you see on this one in particular, let me get you in there a little closer. Now see, they got three screws here, but on this outside corner, there's probably there's only one two by four and the two by four isn't this wide if you notice this screw here is going in at an angle and you're catching that left hand side of the stud this one's going at an angle that way okay and those two go right through the styrofoam backing board and go right into the wood two by four in the corner of this wall okay this one goes straight in 
So I'm going to take these screws out. Now I'm going to be able to reuse those. These are probably two and a half inches long, three inches to three and a half inches long. Okay. Let's see if my hypothesis is right. We're going to take this down because it's up too high, remember? And then I'm going to have to fill those holes up too. So one step at a time and we'll get her. Now I have not taken these screws out yet. This is first time. So I want you to see exactly what I see. We'll see if those screws are as long as I think they are. Look at that one, it's just twisting. Now this one, this one hit, I can tell that. See there? That's probably three inches long. This one's twisting, so that tells me it's probably missing the stud. But this one's, this one's hitting it. I'm gonna leave that in there just for a minute. I, want, I need to try to get this one out, right? Just using my fingernail to get it going and pulling back. You do this with a screwdriver or something. Put pressure on it as you're pulling out. Here it comes. Barely. See, it's not, not wanting to come. There it comes. Now look at that. You see this screw? Somebody put it in without pre-drilling it. Look, it snapped off. That's why it was stripping. Somebody snapped it off and they just left it. And they thought, nothing of the wiser, nobody would ever know. Look at that. Now I've got to dig up a long screw. And here's the screw in there, and I'm measuring that. And see, it's three inches long. See there? Three inches, baby. Right there. I gotta dig up another one of these somewhere. So I want I want three screws in there. Let's take out the rest of that. I could have taken that screw out first before the end one and then kind of held on it and pulled the whole thing out, right? Okay, so now I've got a patch. I've got to fill up those little screw holes with something, don't I? And can you see right above the screw holes, a little mark up there too. I'm gonna to have to put some caulking in that too. That's where the pole, the flagpole was coming down and just gouging in right there okay I guess that's my next step is to take care of that just got a little wet rag here Let's see if I can clean some of that off I'm just gonna take some white caulking and fill up in there in fact I got some almond Maybe I'll try that. I got some almond caulking. That might be closer to this because this isn't white. Now, if you just had white, you're fine with that. You know? Patches a patch is a patch, right? We're just gonna put a little caulking in there. I'll have to let that dry a little bit. Okay. We'll fill that up. Wow, that was lucky. I had some almond caulking in the garage in the garage. I just want to push it in the hole as deep as I can go. Yeah. I want to put a little bit over on this too. Looks slightly different. And it could it could go a little bit different when it dries. And I'm wetting my my finger just a little let's go around the outside edge. Master blender painter person now. 
You know how to wipe that in like that. Now, there's a little bit on the outside. I'm just going to use this caulking as paint. Just put a little bit over the marked up stucco. And that'll look that'll look better than white. Surely. And stop calling me Shirley. Act. Okay, once that dries, you know, if you don't know where it's at on the house. You're probably never going to see it. Okay. Now, I've got to figure out. I've got to find another long screw. So I'm going to look around for a long screw. I need three of those. Worst case scenario, I could install it with two and wait until I got another screw and put that one in later. But we'll see what I can come up with.